Welcome back, everybody. I am WBallzo3, and I have a special guest. Guess who it is? The Great Bullzo. Yes, he is back. Yes, everybody loves whenever he's in my videos. And so do I. So that's why he's here. Sweet. And if you don't like it, deal with it. No, I'm just joking. Yeah, we're totally joking. We love you. Yeah, we love the, our audience. So I'm in level 5. I'm about ready to get it over with. And, oh yeah, I forgot to mention this. I didn't even know this. If you use the uh, L and R buttons on top of your controller, you can actually... Uh, like scroll through your B items. I did not know that without hitting start, but I'm probably gonna hit start because I'm so used to the old way of doing things, so I'm probably gonna forget that. And also if you hit select, it brings up another like uh, item uh, menu. Basically, I guess, you know, since this game goes by weeks, it shows you what you should have at the end of the week. So I should have the magical rod. You see that on the bottom right of my menu. So I just wanted to point that out also. So, yeah. Wow, they really made this look nice. Yeah, it's nice. It's totally awesome. Totally cool. Updated 16-bit version. Um, yeah. So, I'm totally... Yeah, a woody. What's that? Kind of gave me a woody. Oh. That's, that's, that's... Yeah, it kind of gave me one, too. I just wish that the overworld was as big as the uh, original game, but it makes it easier, I guess. Now, this guy right here, you remember this guy from level 9, Patra? Oh, yeah, I hated him. Yeah, he is back, and he is the boss of level 5. It's like an updated version of him. I think he's much easier. Yeah, he looks like it. Yeah, he only goes like in a, you know, uh, vertical motion up and down. He doesn't go from side. I can't, I, I don't, th yeah, I think the uh, one in the first Zelda, man, it was everywhere on the screen. Yeah, that thing was nuts. Yeah. So... Level 5 is taken care of. And this guy appears selling cheap medicine. The blue kind. The one dose for 10 rubies. I'll buy it. I already have a blue one, so two blues make a red. Yeah. So, were you ever a fan of this game? Oh, I was always a fan of Zelda. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, this is my favorite game of all time. And then whenever I heard about this game, I had to jump on it. I actually, I'm neglecting uh, Minish Cap, like I told you, because of this game. Yeah, I can see why. <laughs> oh, yeah. Damn. Forgot. Walked right past this heart container. Yeah. But you'll see what I'm talking about, how the overworld's, like, a good bit smaller. But, yeah, so we're off to level 6. That level 6 is actually right over here. Now, I don't think I pointed this out. I got... Well, I gotta get two more heart containers. There's one heart container here. Oh, yeah, this is Infinity Bombs, by the way. But anyways, uh, I, uh... I hope I didn't screw myself, because I was supposed to get a heart container right here, um, and it says I'm supposed to get it, I guess, at 28 minutes, and, uh, well, I missed it. I missed my opportunity for it. Hopefully I can go back and get it. I don't know, but I just wanted to point it out. It's right here. I don't know what you do to get it. I don't know if you play your uh, recorder. I have no idea. I have, to, I have to look at a playthrough of it, but if you know, leave me a comment. Help me out if you can. Yeah, don't be shy. Yeah. So what we have to do here, this is the thing that sucks about this game, to get into level 6. We actually have to wait till the time uh, gets uh, to the right point. So we'll see like an ocarina symbol in the sand. So I'm going to hit the fast forward button. Do, do, do. I don't know what time that actually shows up. I don't know either. 
Oh, look. You notice that I have all heart, all my heart containers. That's just a special power-up, by the way. So people ask. Oh, see, there it is right there. Now we can play the ocarina. Or the recorder. And then it'll show up. Thank God for a fast-forward button. Yeah. Yeah, that, that would have been taking forever. Yeah, so I guess it shows up at 235. Forever endeavor. Yeah. Now, this level is set up very familiar to... Uh-oh. Oh, nice. Clocks. Uh, yeah, I, I, did I point this out? I don't know. Yeah, at special times, Bullzome, you get power-ups. So, it's pretty cool. Nice. Um, but anyways, um... I don't even know what I was saying. Damn cough syrup's getting to me. Yeah, give me some of that. <laughs> um, yeah, well, yeah, this, uh... This, uh, stage is set up a lot like... Level 2 in the second quest of the original game. Yeah, I see that. Oh, I can't bomb here? Oh, no. No, no, it's up here. Yeah. Right here. Oh, uh, what's this now? Oh, very cool. I don't need it, though. Goodbye, fairy. <laughs> And you notice too, Bullzom, every time you leave a room, enemies come back. Yeah, that's retarded. Yeah, it's good in a way, because if you're grinding for uh, rubies, it's very good. But it does suck sometimes. And the Dig Dodger makes his return. I, I fought him in level 3, I believe, or something like that. I can't remember. Yeah, that guy's a jerk. Yeah. Like stand still. Yeah. Oh god, like likes. Oh yeah. This is another cool thing. Well, let me kill the like likes first. Cause oh my god, I'm afraid of them. They will eat my shield. Now I pointed out. I'm gonna hurry up and. You notice that the bunny heads won't die of arrows. Play the ocarina or the whistle, and they will. I don't know. They'll die automatically. I don't know if Link's that bad on the flute that they can't stand it. <laughs> but... Oh, yeah, and you can see this stage is an A. So, basically, what the word is that I was telling you about is... I don't know. How do you say it? It's Saint Gig... Uh, Giga. I don't know. It's, it's a Japanese word, so I might have totally butchered it. But I guess it's like a... Uh, station that used to broadcast uh, on this uh, Sata view so I don't know I'll point the, I'll put the name up but yeah yeah, yeah. the first the uh, the first six stages actually spell out that oh goma makes his return yeah goma makes his return oh he was always fun to fight yeah I didn't mind him Come on, fairy. I would kind of tease him. Be like, ha ha, you can't get me. Yeah. Now, you remember this room in the second quest of uh, Zelda level 2. This is actually a walkthrough wall. Oh, I hated that when they started doing that. I know. The first time I played the second quest, I'm like, dude, where am I supposed to go? I know. Here we go, magical rod. Yes, I got my rod. Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> she likes my rod. Oh, yeah. And these bombs will always show up, and that's nice. Alright, let's beat this freaking stage. Get away from me, like likes. Yeah, you guys are jerks. You're even jerks. Yeah, you eat my freaking shield, and I don't appreciate that. 
I saved up 130 rubies of hard-earned, uh, I mean, I've killed things for it, and you gotta eat my shield. Yeah, that was hard work killing all those monsters, you jerks. Yeah. Let's, uh, go over here. Oh, look at this, rubies galore. Me liking rubies. Oh, yeah. Me likey bouncy. <laughs> Uh, I missed one, oh well. But yeah. There's look at that, a fairy in a dungeon. Don't see that too often now, do you? Nope. So which is your favorite Zelda? Uh mine would have to be Zelda 2. Wow, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I think I uh Yep. Yeah, I like and it. That actually was the first Zelda I played. I'm like, dude, this game is awesome. Yeah, it's funny. You have always played like the black sheeps of like the you know, as your first games like Metal Gear you played Snake's Revenge as your first. Yeah. Uh huh. I always find all these great games by like Yeah, playing playing the hot balls. Yeah. Yeah, but you don't like Snake's Revenge, but that's an edit out. All right, but yeah, you I know you don't like, uh, totally not a fan of uh, Snake's Revenge. That was, that was painful doing that game, <laughs> but it was fun because we had a fun time doing it, but man, it was painful. Oh, yeah, that's the guy that made it is a sadistic bastard. <laughs> I'd like to string him up by his balls. Yeah. Oh god, like likes. Okay. Yeah, That's he's... That's right. If I ever see that dude... If you're watching this dude that made Snake's Revenge, and, and I, if I ever see you face to face, I really am going to string you up by your balls. Yeah. Because he is a great bull's omen. He's awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're just mocking so I'm just mocking somebody. You don't know who he is. It's not, it's not that wrestler either. No, it's not that other one either. <laughs> All right, here is Goma. An updated graphic, Goma. Just one shot. Good, huh? Yeah, definitely. Jeez, one shot? Yeah, one shot. I guess he's the uh, red Goma from level six in the first quest of the original Zelda. Because they only take one shot. Now, as you can see, everything's dark and stormy and it's lightning. I guess this is like technically the last week of the game. And look, there's dark nuts everywhere in place of the Octoroks. Which sucks, but oh well, what can you do? Yeah, those guys are jerks. Yeah. Now, I'm going to hopefully have enough time. I'm, this is going to be the item gathering segment of the video. Yeah, because we need items before we go any further. Yes. All right, heart container. Um, now we have to get, oh yeah, I, I was missing three heart containers. We have to get the second to the last one. And again, like I said, the one that I missed at 28 minutes, let me know if I can get it. I might, I might have figured it out by the time I upload this video, but if I don't, Leave it in the comments below. Yes. Because we love your comments. Yeah. Definitely. Because I'm like the cookie monster with comments. I'm like, ooh, comments. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> yeah. Comments are always good. It shows that you like me. You really like me. 
unless I get a you suck uh, comment. <laughs> you always gotta like those too. Oh yes. All right, so up here is if you bomb in this wall here. It is another heart container, so I only need that one more 28 minutes by level 6. Now, I'm going to go... Where do I have to go? I have to get another item. Which, I have to get it at 3 minutes... Uh, 3 hours and uh, 8 minutes here. So I'm going to hit the fast forward button. Do do do. Let's see if it works. There we go. Power bracelet. Yeah. Oh now yeah. We can, now we can. Now we can cause all kind of shenanigans. Oh yeah. I think we need the power bracelet to get to our next level, level seven. And also, since I beat level six. We can get the Master Sword, or the Magical Sword. I think you have to beat up to level 6 first to get it. I think it shows up, I think, around 325 to 335. I don't know that for a fact. Now, if you remember, this is where we actually got the sword I currently have equipped, the White Sword. But in this version, this is where you get the Master Sword, or Magical Sword. See, he's like, I'm ser currently in search of the strongest sword. So let's hit the fast forward button. And it will show up. It'll just show up automatically. I think it's 328. I do believe you are right, sir. 325, no, 325, there it is, it shows up. And like I said, you have to, I think you have to beat level 6 first. So let's go back out, well, you can grab it now, but I want to see what he says now, that it's, uh-oh, power up. Yeah, the strongest sword, the magical sword, or master. Look at it, it's all, it's, it's beastly looking. It's the best sword ever. Yep. Another power up. Yes, yeah, so now. Yeah, we're actually racking it up. So, in the next episode, I'm going to travel to level 7. And I'll, I guess, begin right here. So, thank you, Bullzone, for joining me. And hell, you might even be in the next episode. Yeah, so this has been W Balls 03, along with the greatest LP of all time, the Great Bullzo. See you guys later.